Welcome back to Backwest Magazine. After two days of action, we're here at the championship game, and Shamanon and Dominican have been the survivors. So let's go check out all the action of this awesome championship game behind me. This was the trophy that the finalists were playing for as the second-seeded Dominican Penguins faced off against the fifth-seeded Chaminade Silver Swords in the Men's Tournament Championship game. The Penguins were hoping for another start like they had in the semifinal win against HPU, and they took the opening lead. But the Silver Swords appeared to be on a mission. They had beaten higher seeds in each of their first two games, BYU Hawaii and California Baptist, and once again, they were red hot from the outside almost from the start. The hottest hand belonged to number three, James Harper, who was literally on fire in the first half, hitting one three-pointer after another as Chaminade built up a double-digit lead. By halftime, the Silver Swords had pushed it to a 50 to 39 advantage. In the second half, the Penguins tried to muster a comeback. Several times, they cut the lead to single digits but couldn't seem to get much closer than about seven points. Chaminade got great efforts from Harper, who hit nine three-pointers, nine of 12 shooting on the night, as well as tourney MVP, Lee Bailey, who made some big plays for the Swords. And from reserve, Kieran Shastri, who just nailed a couple of huge shots down the stretch. All three made the all-tournament team, and the Swords went on to win it 99-83. It was a tremendous celebration for Chaminade, who once again showed off its giant killer reputation. The Silver Swords are this year's men's basketball Pac West Tournament champions. Congratulations once again to the Chaminade Silver Swords for their phenomenal run to the NCAA Tournament. The Swords win the 2014 PacWest Tournament title. No, oh, it's incredible. I'm so proud of these guys. We had a lot of ups and downs throughout the year. You know, for a while there we were in contention for first place and we kind of fell out of contention. We dropped down to fifth before the season was over. But uh, we knew and we believed that we could win this. Uh, we talked several times about, we're, we're gonna go win it. Everybody believed in it and they made it happen. Uh, it's just a team effort uh, from everyone. I can't hit all the threes without my teammates driving and finding me. Uh, so really, you know, I commend all my teammates for their efforts tonight uh, because I couldn't have done it without any of them. So this is all for the team right here. Yeah, but you were feeling it. <laughs> he was feeling it. He was feeling it. It was, it was. But, uh, you know, I can't get open if my guys aren't driving and, and, uh, and finding me. So, you know, my point guard, all the other guys on the team, you know, we did a great job as a team effort. We stayed motivated throughout the season, uh, and that's what it takes. So. Uh, it's just a great feeling. Uh, we we worked so hard all year. We we knew. I mean, we came in with with goals to win the regular season championship. But like Coach said, we had we faced a little adversity this season, and we kind of thought of that. But we still knew that uh, we wanted to make it to regionals, and we wanted to win a pathway pathway championship. So for you know, from starting to the to the fall and the fall workouts, all coming to now, it just it's, it's an unbelievable feeling just to get up there and cut the nets down and hold the trophy with your teammates. It's unbelievable. Late in the game shots, uh, they went in. I know one of them, Coach, wasn't happy with it. I missed it, but uh, I got a couple of them back, and uh, it's, I, I'm in a loss of words right now because it just feels so good to cut, cut down the nets and win a championship. I left a great situation at West Liberty, being the first assistant there. You know, and we, we had the winningest active record in NCAA, you know. So, Leaving was, was tough, you know, that's where my family and everybody's from. 
But the opportunity to coach at Chaminade, you know, was several things. One, living in Hawaii. Number two, you have the EA Sports Maui Invitational. And then the great travel that the Pac West provides. It, it was a situation that I couldn't turn down the second time. So, turned it down once, and luckily, Bill Billy gave me an opportunity. I realized I do want that job, and we can, we can do well there. So, I'm excited about living, living in Hawaii, and excited for my, my teammates, or my team here. I got a great group of guys. Not only are they good basketball players, but they're good student athletes. So, I'm really proud of them. I've been telling these guys for, you know, we went to a lot of Sweet 16s and Final Fours and Elite Eights at West Liberty, and uh, you know, I told these guys, the hardest part is getting in. Well, you, you, you gotta get into the tournament and any of the 64 teams have a chance to win. We've seen it throughout history that eight seeds, seven seeds can advance into the Elite Eight. And you know, that's probably where we'll be positioned six, seven, or eight. But hey, teams have gone for the championship game as being a seven seed from their own region. Hardest part's getting in. I'm just glad we're in, but we'll go back to work really soon here. And, and uh, try to win that regional. First off, uh, hats off to uh, Chaminade for the way they played tonight. They did a, a great job of making the extra pass and, and shot the ball extremely well. Um, we had trouble with uh, penetration, keeping them in front of us, and, and they uh, made the extra pass when we helped. Uh, getting out to, to rotate was difficult. Uh, shooters were, were, were knocking them down. And it, it, it's tough when a team shoots, uh, you know, 54% from the field. And, 57 from the three. Uh, so Harper and uh, Bailey did a great job running the show. Uh, testament to that kid for being uh, the most outstanding player. Uh, so, um, but our, our guys did a tremendous job this season, you know, uh, ripping off the last uh, 11 games at the end of the year, uh, like I mentioned before, through adversity with injuries and concussions and mono. And uh, everything like that. It, it's it's tough just because the game of basketball this time of year. It's it's so uh, quick. It ends so abruptly. Um, and and we knew coming in, uh, we had a great opportunity in front of us. And, and, and you know we're hoping to get an, an automatic qualifying bid. Uh, but you know we just came up a bit short this season. But hats off to uh, our seniors, Devin Golston. He wasn't able to play down the stretch. You know, Miles Carrillo uh, over here on my right finished with a great career. And, and Connor uh, Haysford also from uh, making all conference uh, to struggling through four wins early on in their career. I mean, the whole year our team has been really resilient. And there's really no team that we see that we're not better than. And so every game we go out, we play with confidence. And our shot was falling for most of the game, just they were hitting everything. So. Uh, we tried not to get discouraged. We kept battling back. We just came a bit, a bit short. Throughout the year, this stuff is a testament to our entire year. When Devin Golson went down, I, uh, our team fought back and kept winning games without arguably our best player. And uh, I got to give credit to my, my point guard over here. He kept finding me throughout the game, even though I wasn't hitting, especially last night. And for him to have confidence in me, and I just wanted to hit the shots. And, um, I just wish we would have this win. It's been a uh, really good something to be grateful about uh, with these young men coming in and, and buying into uh, the culture and, and, and what we're trying to do um, down the stretch here and and uh, seeing those guys have success it's been it's been really really uh, awesome uh, to see and a blessing for for me to see those guys maybe to have lifelong memories from uh, early mornings of practice to uh, playing games and stringing stuff together. Uh, like I said, at the end of the day, uh, we, we, we fought and we finished in the upper echelon of the conference and we were picked, you know, uh, in the middle when preseason started. And having four guys become all conference and, and, and guys uh, stepping up and leading us and scoring from different guys every night to even Matt to Miles to Dominique. And, and you never knew who was gonna step up, but it was awesome to see. Uh, Every night, somebody step up and take on the role, and their teammates really enjoy uh, everyone having success. That was, was the thing that made us successful. No one cared who got the credit. The kids were just extremely happy and proud about starting some tradition uh, for Dominican University at the Division II level and, and going into uncharted uh, territory. Um, and the thing about it, it, it it's tough. It's tough and it hurts, uh, but we, we know that just because uh, gratification is delayed doesn't mean it's going to be denied. So 
Um, I look forward, you know, to watching uh, the returners grow up and use this experience. Um, I'm gonna miss, like I said, all my seniors, Miles over here, Connor and uh, Devin, but I enjoyed it. Thanks, Coach.